Hello everybody and welcome to the very first video of Paranormal Files. So I went ahead and I changed the name from Chips Paranormal, the Cedar Hill Investigation, uh, Cedar Hill, the Cedar Hill Investigations of Paranormal Sightings to Paranormal Files. Uh, one, I'm not in Cedar Hill anymore. I haven't been for a long time. Uh, so I thought, you know, I need to stop localizing myself and just give it a change. And then two, um, it's a long name. This is a lot less long, and I think it, it sounds cooler. Um, so today, I'm going to show you how to isolate and amplify uh, your very own EVPs with WavePad. So what we're going to do is uh, first you have to get your audio file. Now you can get your audio file or you can get a video and you can drag and drop it into WavePad. And <clears throat> I'll have the link to WavePad uh, in the description, uh, but let me show you something really quick. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna just type in WavePad if you want to and then do a little space and you see this here, oops. You see that there? Just be careful. I'm not putting a link to that, but it is it is there, just so you know. <clears throat> so today, uh, what we're looking at is a video or audio file from this video. So I'm going to do one fairly easy and then another one that's a little more difficult. Is that one right here? Okay, so that was Pecan Grove uh, and this was a very clear EVP. If you were classifying it, you would classify that as a class A, meaning you don't have to do a lot of, you know, digital stuff to really hear what it's trying to say. Um, and then you can actually capture this stuff with your phone. You don't need a fancy recorder or anything. You can record it with your phone camera and drop it into there. Or you can actually download WavePad onto your computer, or sorry, onto your phone. And you can directly record from your phone and capture EVPs that way. It's very easy to start. Uh, you just gotta get going. And you can practice in your room or in your home and you might be surprised with uh, what you find. So here's the file. <clears throat> Is that one right here? Okay, so we hear a few things here and the first one I notice is right here. And I know my friend's voice and that sounds a lot like her. Uh, and then we're gonna play this here. Is that one right here? And that's clearly one of my guys talking. And then finally, we got this. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. And that was nobody. Uh, there's only two people around and they're in the middle of the woods. So I don't suspect that this is either of them. Another thing you can do to tell if you wanna get very, uh, specific you can view okay so I'm back and it's still loading but uh, if you want to get really scientific with it um, there are ways to do this I just want to show you that this is an option if you really want to get detailed in it and learn how to read these so all I did is went to tools and I click this here and this will show you the actual frequencies that everything is moving on. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know too, too much about the different frequencies on this thing, but I do know, oh, you can you can go between the hertz. So I, I do know, let's see the high hertz, that spirits uh, speak on a different frequency. And so if we watch it, so we heard friend here. 
that one right here. And you notice how his voice pops up, but you can't see her. It's really weird. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too much of detail about this, but this is here if you really need to try to determine what um, is a spirit voice and what is not. Um, so that is there. And that's this, TFFT. We're going to get rid of that. And we're just going to go ahead and open this up again. Now we're going to isolate this area here. And we're going to do that by just copying this. And you can't see it here. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to move me down here. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to click on this plus and I'm just going to paste into here. And now this is what we got. So it is pretty clear to me at least what she's saying. If you're new to this, this might take a while to understand everything. Uh, so we're going to slow it down a little bit and a way we're going to do that is by uh, pressing this speed and we're going to do speed change not pitch and speed uh, not pitch and speed change because that'll mess up the voice it'll distort it and it'll completely ruin our EVP so each time you do this uh, it will it will automatically slow it down just a little bit for you. So if you don't want to bounce between this here, you um, you can just do like a preset. Okay, so now we have it slower, uh, which is good, but it also is kind of distorted. So what we're gonna do uh, is we're going to do click and pop removal and that should give us we're going to do a I believe it's low pass yeah we're going to do low pass and you can do all this preset you don't have to do any of like your actual adjustments now we're going to amplify it just a smidge. We don't want to get too loud. Okay, so there we go. And then now we're going to go into the equalizer. And this here, it, it's pretty good. You can um, you mess around with it and try to pull out the voice, basically. And as you see, I have uh, I have it on low pass uh, shelf, or you could just do low pass and click apply, and there you go. That's it. I would say this is a good EVP. Uh, so we went from this one right here to this which I think is pretty good. Now, like I said, this was a fairly simple one. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this one that I've listened for. This is pretty raw. Um, it's, it's very raw. I don't have the video for this one, but we were at a haunted winery, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and take a listen. <coughs> now, for this one, you really have to listen closely and it's around here. Maybe even more. Maybe even just a little bit more. Okay, so from what I hear, I hear I'm right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do, a, we're gonna normalize this. Now that's insane. Uh, so we're going to do the equalizer and we're going to pass it through the low pass. And there you go. We're already a major step ahead. And 
Let's see, sometimes you just gotta experiment. Let's try to compress it. See, I think that actually sounds pretty good. And we can go back into the equalizer. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna go back into, uh, let's see what this does. Like I said, we're just experimenting. We're almost done. Low volume recording with background noise. Sounds like us. Hmm, that didn't seem to help. Let's see. Let's try this. That one did seem to help a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that actually. And now we're going to, let's slow it down just a little bit. If I can figure out where there it is, speed. Okay, but now we got that weird hum again. And if we pass it through the equalizer one more time, that should get rid of that. Maybe not. I'm going to do it though, and we're going to keep playing around. And that's kind of really what all this is, is you just kind of go in and mess around with whatever, with whatever. It's really just at seeing what works. And we're going to do this again. Let's see if that helps. So it has that weird here, this hum. Let's see if that fixes it. That's really hard to listen to. Oh, that's really hard to listen to. Okay, so I went ahead and applied that, but I don't know if this is going to get better than what it is. Let's throw it through the low pass, uh, or we can do... Let me show you something. We take this this little bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually silence this area. Okay, and then we're going to go into effects. We're going to do cleanup, noise reduction, and then we're going to do grab noise sample from selected area. And that was that. So. Now we're going to do this. <laughs> Creepy. It's suggesting that we normalize it. Now I think actually that we are at a point that we have edited it too far. I think it's possible that we messed up. Now you can hear him, right? But you can't hear him 
in a way that sounds natural. Now, luckily there's all these, uh, you know, the undo button, so you can just back it up. You can either keep it there, which is really hard to hear, or you can move it forward, get a little bit of that, that womp womp womp, and it's a little easier to hear. Uh, like I said, this was a hard one to do, and this was our easy one. And yeah, that's it. That's how you use uh, WavePad for um, EVPs and editing. And I use this for my videos, and I'll record the video separately, and usually I'm recording uh, with here. Uh, and then I just drop the audio with the video, but I love it. I've been using it forever. I hope you can find some use out of it. If you have any questions or you want me to look over any files that you have, uh, go ahead and you can send them to me and we'll, we'll take a look at them together and see what we can pull from that. So thank you so much. And I really appreciate y'all support and watching my channel. And like I said, I hope you found something useful out of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.